Hey guys, this next class is a strength and conditioning class using your dumbbells. I hope you guys enjoy it. For this segment, let's grab some dumbbells. Now, ladies, uh, three kilograms, four kilograms, or five kilograms, depending on your strength, would be ideal for these programs. Um, fellas, let's work, let's start at around about five kilograms. If you're a little bit stronger, seven and a half, nines, 12 and a half. You certainly don't want to go over 15 kilogram weights with this one because you won't be able to finish the, the program. Okay guys, we're going to start to warm up. We're going to warm up just bending forward, working some uppercuts. Now what I'm going to do to get my legs involved as well, you can see I'm going up and down with it. Okay, just like that. Let's just start to warm up together. Let's go for a minute. Let's keep working through those. A little bit of a bounce. I want to start to get my quadriceps involved. You can see I'm keeping my elbows tucked right in. So really trying to warm everything up, get some blood flowing. Get ready for some action. And 15 seconds. Keep throwing those uppercuts out. Five more. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Alright guys, just another warm-up exercise. So we're going to go into a very light squat, come up into a light shoulder press. So you can see they're very light, it's not a full range movement, just a warm-up technique. We just want to get the blood flowing. So straight up, straight down. Now as you start to warm up, we can start to increase the range a little bit. So you can see I'm going deeper on those squats now as I'm warming up. Five more, four more, three more, two more. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Okay guys, we're gonna work some hammer curls for this one. So I want you to watch me, I've got my elbows by my side, um, palms are facing each other, so it's in that hammer position. I'm gonna just drive straight up in front of me like that, and back down. Other side, just alternating. I want 90 degrees of movement, just like that. And keeping those elbows tucked right in. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get started with those hammer curls. So, elbows are by your side, no movement in those elbows. Again, protecting the spine by holding it nice and neutral and having your knees slightly bent for this one and pushing out right in front of you. There's no angle change with the wrist. I'm gonna show you guys one way of actually making the um, hammer curls a little bit easier for you. So to make it easier to hold on to your dumbbell, in particular if you're doing using heavy weights, what you can do, I'm gonna make a little change for you. There you go, see we've just pushed Sarah's hand to the front and what's happening is it's now pushing right up against uh, the ball right here. So it's gonna be a lot more comfortable, it's gonna be a lot easier to push those hammer curls out. Let's keep working. Got to make sure the elbows are staying nice and stationary, keeping the same pace throughout the whole movement and working right through. Let's go for three more reps. One, two, and three. Time. Bent over lateral raise for this next exercise, guys. I want you to watch me. So I'm gonna start in that hammer position. My dumbbells are touching each other. And from here, it's a lateral movement, just like that, in that bent position. So we're really working the back of the shoulders, working your rear delts, and we're going um, all the way towards your spine and hitting those rhomboids as well. Just like that. Let's get you guys to try. Okay guys, let's get into those bent over lateral raises. Let's go. So we're gonna make sure our feet and knees are together. 
gonna bend those knees, keeping that spine nice and neutral, protected, we're not hunching over at all. And you can see nice lateral movement. Perfect, just lifting straight up with those arms, soft straight and finishing at a nice perfect T, which is what Christina's is doing. That's spot on, let's keep them going. Now, as you start to tie with this exercise, you tend to start to bend your elbows. We wanna make sure we're not doing that, okay? We wanna be able to get out from the delts. We wanna be able to push all the way in towards your thoracic spine. Let's keep working. We've got two more reps, Christina. And one more. And time. I'm gonna work some skater squats for this next one, guys. So watch, so I'm gonna grab my dumbbells, place them on my hip, and I'm gonna drop it into a wide uh, squat position. You can see my feet are parallel and my knees are right out, so I'm not letting them cave in like that. Pulling them right out. And from here, I'm gonna glide to one side just like that, straighten that knee out, and then keeping the same height, I'm gonna come out to the other side just like that. One more. Your turn. Okay, Christina, let's get into those scatter squats. Okay, so you guys can see we're moving the whole range. So we're basically moving until you've got a straight leg on one side and then we're working our way back, getting to the other side, doing exactly the same thing. Now you wanna try and make sure you keep your feet nice and parallel, keep those knees out and make sure we're not bobbing up and down. You wanna try and glide right across, same height the whole time. Keep working. If this gets really difficult for you, you can drop your weights. Drop your weights, put your hands on your hips and do it from there. But in the meanwhile, let's keep going. Let's keep pushing strong. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. Keep working. Make sure you're maintaining your height. We want to make sure we're not lifting. One last one. And time. Okay guys, get ready for action. We're gonna repeat the last three exercises. Okay guys, let's get started with those hammer curls. So elbows are by your side, no movement in those elbows. Again, protecting the spine by holding it nice and neutral and having your knees slightly bent for this one. And pushing out right in front of you, there's no angle change with the wrist. I'm going to show you guys one way of actually making the um, hammer curls a little bit easier for you. So to make it easier to hold on to your dumbbell, in particular if you're doing using heavy weights, what you can do, I'm going to make a little change for you. There you go. See, we've just pushed Sarah's hand to the front. And what's happening is it's now pushing right up against uh, the ball right here. So it's going to be a lot more comfortable. It's going to be a lot easier to push those hammer curls out. Let's keep working. Got to make sure the elbows are staying nice and stationary, keeping the same pace throughout the whole movement and working right through. Let's go for three more reps. One, two, and three, time. Okay guys, let's get into those bent over lateral raises. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna make sure our feet and knees are together. We're gonna bend those knees, keeping that spine nice and neutral, protected. We're not hunching over at all. And you can see nice lateral movement. Perfect, just lifting straight up with those arms, soft straight and finishing at a nice perfect T, which is what Christina's doing. That's spot on, let's keep them going. Now, as you start to tie with this exercise, you tend to start to bend your elbows. We wanna make sure we're not doing that, okay? We wanna be able to get out from the delts. We wanna be able to push all the way in towards your thoracic spine. Let's keep working. We've got two more reps, Christina. And one more. And time. Okay, Christina, let's get into those scatter squats. Okay, so you guys can see we're moving 
the whole range. So we're basically moving until you've got a straight leg on one side and then we're working our way back, getting to the other side, doing exactly the same thing. Now you wanna try and make sure you keep your feet nice and parallel, keep those knees out and make sure we're not bobbing up and down. You wanna try and glide right across, same height the whole time. Keep working. If this gets really difficult for you, you can drop your weights. Drop your weights, put your hands on your hips and do it from there. But in the meanwhile, let's keep going. Let's keep pushing strong. We've got 10 seconds left on this one. Keep working. Make sure you're maintaining your height. We want to make sure we're not lifting. One last one. And time. For this exercise, we're going to work some squats and we're going to add some calves raises to it. So I want you guys to watch. So I'm going to drop down into a squat. I'm going to come straight back up. Calves raise and finish there. Let's do one more rep. Your turn. Okay, Sarah, let's get into those squats. So a couple of important points with this exercise. You wanna make sure your feet are parallel and they're at shoulder width. Um, the other thing you wanna make sure is you, the knees are dropping right over the toes. Okay, so we're not moving in or out with it. And you can see as Sarah's dropping down, she's keeping a nice neutral spine, protecting her back and finishing at the top, lifting into a calves raise, little pause at the top and dropping back down. Good. Now we wanna make sure we're keeping a steady pace with this one. So we don't wanna slow down or speed up. You just wanna make sure you keep a nice steady pace throughout the whole movement. As you start to um, get a little bit tired through this exercise, your knees are gonna sway a little bit. So let's try and hold them still. Let's keep them in place. Um, the other thing you wanna watch out for is just make sure as you're tired, don't slouch. You wanna make sure you're keeping your back nice and tight throughout the exercise. One last rep. Fine. Okay guys, we're gonna work some squats for this one. We're gonna do it with, with a single dumbbell. So the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna hold with one hand and I'm gonna support with the opposite hand, just like that, right in front of me. Kind of similar to if you're holding a kettlebell. Okay, we're gonna drop down and lift. Drop down and lift. One more repetition. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into those squats, go. So with your squats, you're making sure you're at shoulder width, um, feet are parallel, knees are dropping over the toes, spine's nice and neutral, we're not folding over, we're not bending forward too much, you just wanna try and keep it as vertical as you can. Excellent, nice steady range of motion, you can see Sarah's got good range on this one, so we're getting to that chair, we're getting to that 90 degree position. So all the pressure is right in the middle of the quadriceps, it's perfect. We're gonna come right back up, we're gonna tighten the back, squeeze with the glutes as well. Fantastic. Let's keep working through those. We've got two more reps, Sarah. One more, and have a rest. Okay, we're gonna work an isometric calves raise for this one, guys, but we're gonna do it from a V-squat position. Watch me. So I'm gonna go into a nice wide uh, V-squat. I'm gonna drop right down. I'm gonna put the dumbbells on my hips, so this is a nice stationary place, and I can already start to feel the pressure on my quadriceps. What I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna lift right up, just like that, onto the ball of the foot, and drop straight back down. Nice and steady. This is gonna be really hard to balance out. So right up, and back down. Now the trick is, don't adjust your height, your height has to stay stationary, okay? So we're not gonna go up and down on this one. Just wanna maintain that height. Your turn. Okay, let's get started with this one. It's a pretty hard exercise, you guys. It's really hard on your stabilizers, it's hard to balance, and it's a hard quadricep and calves exercise as well, so you're gonna really use some lower body strength for this one. Now, you can see the weights are just rested on Christina's hip, and we're not adjusting the height, okay? I'm gonna help you out, I'm gonna get you guys to just watch me for a second. If I put my hand here, Christina's not gonna go any higher than that. Perfect. 
And you guys got to make sure you're doing the same thing so we don't want any bobbing up and down. If you're doing this exercise for the first time, it's a good idea to do it in front of a mirror. Let's keep working. Good. Give me two more reps, Christina. One last one. Good job. We're done. Okay, guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay, Sarah, let's get into those squats. So a couple of important points with this exercise. You want to make sure your feet are parallel and they're at shoulder width. Um, the other thing you want to make sure is you, the knees are dropping right over the toes. Okay, so we're not moving in or out with it. And you can see as Sarah's dropping down, she's keeping a nice neutral spine, protecting her back and finishing at the top, lifting into a calves raise, a little pause at the top and dropping back down. Good. Now we want to make sure we're keeping a steady pace with this one. So we don't want to slow down or speed up. You just want to make sure you keep a nice steady pace throughout the whole movement. As you start to um, get a little bit tired through this exercise, your knees are going to sway a little bit. So let's try and hold them still. Let's keep them in place. Um, the other thing you want to watch out for is just make sure as you're tired, don't slouch. You want to make sure you're keeping your back nice and tight throughout the exercise. One last rep. Time. Okay guys, let's get into those squats. Go. So with your squats, you're making sure you're at shoulder width, um, feet are parallel, knees are dropping over the toes, spine's nice and neutral, we're not folding over, we're not bending forward too much, you just want to try and keep it as vertical as you can. Excellent, nice steady range of motion, you can see Sarah's got good range on this one, so we're getting to that chair, we're getting to that 90 degree position. So all the pressure is right in the middle of the quadriceps, it's perfect. We're going to come right back up, we're going to tighten the back, squeeze with the glutes as well. Fantastic. Let's keep working through those. We've got two more reps, Sarah. One more. And have a rest. Okay, let's get started with this one. It's a pretty hard exercise, you guys. It's really hard on your stabilizers. It's hard to balance. And it's a hard quadricep and calves exercise as well. So you're gonna really use some lower body strength for this one. Now, you can see the weights are just rested on Christina's hip and we're not adjusting the height, okay? I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna get you guys to just watch me for a second. If I put my hand here, Christina's not gonna go any higher than that. Perfect. Now you guys have gotta make sure you're doing the same thing so we don't want any bobbing up and down. If you're doing this exercise for the first time, it's a good idea to do it in front of a mirror. Let's keep working. Good. Give me two more reps, Christina. One last one. Good job. We're done. Okay, guys, we're going to work some tricep kickbacks. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. What I want to do is I want to develop a nice sturdy stance to begin with. I'm going to use my forearm to give me added support. So by placing this here, it's actually giving me a really nice sturdy base. Now all I've got to do is worry about this arm. So from here, I'm going to pull up into a row to begin with. I'm going to hold that elbow stationary and I'm going to start to work my tricep kickbacks. So I'm actually extending right out and dropping it back down without moving my elbow. Your turn. Okay guys, let's get into those triceps. Okay, so from here, I've got my nice sturdy stance and I'm gonna start to hit it. Okay, you notice I'm actually looking back at my hand and what that does, now forces me, it's like watching your form in the mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure that elbow doesn't move. I have to keep working through those. Okay, we keep them tucked in. You can see I'm putting a little pause right there and dropping it back. Now the trick with this one is make sure your elbow doesn't drop as you start to tire. So you want to keep it glued to your ribs and you want to keep it there maintained. I'm going to get 
three more reps and I'm going to change sides. Let's get one last one. And I want you to switch it up. Let's go to the other side now. Okay, guys, I've switched over to the other side. Let's go. So again, you can see the same range of motion. So nothing from the shoulder to the elbow. It's staying glued to my ribs and it's staying nice and stationary. And all the movements coming from the hand all the way to the elbow, really tensing up the triceps right here, pausing and dropping it back. That's my relaxed position there. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna exhale, hold, and come back. Just like that. Got three more reps. One, two, and three. Have a rest. Single arm rows, guys. I want you to watch me. So I'm gonna go into this nice, sturdy stance. Elbows rested on my legs, so I'm creating a sturdy base. And from here, I'm gonna lift straight up to the waistline. Drop down, lift, keeping those elbows tucked in. Just like that. 45 seconds on each side. Your turn. Okay, let's get into those single arm rows, guys. Go. Excellent. So you guys can see vertical movement straight up and down. Now, what we're going to do here, I'm going to make sure you tuck that right in. There you go. Perfect. So we're getting more out of the lats that way. Perfect. Now, you want to make sure with this exercise, you don't want to bring it up to your chest because you really fold your elbow over and you end up putting some pressure on your elbow. What, what you're better off doing is actually just bring it below your chest, a little bit closer to your waistline, round about your serratus. Excellent. You guys can see nice steady range of movement. Um, she's got a nice sturdy stance, so she's well protected while she's doing this exercise. to give me one more Christina we're going to change over we're going to work the other side as well excellent let's change them up and go from there Maintaining a steady speed and finishing at a soft, straight arm is really necessary for this one because if you throw it out, you're going to hard straighten your elbows and you're going to put some pressure there, so we're going to try and avoid that. Just focusing on keeping those elbows tucked in, pulling straight up, that's perfect. We've got one more after this one, and let's have a rest. Let's get ready to go again, guys. We're going to repeat the last two exercises. Okay, guys, let's get into those triceps. Okay, so from here, I've got my nice sturdy stance and I'm going to start to hit it. Okay, you notice I'm actually looking back at my hand and what that does, that forces me, it's like watching your form in the mirror. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that elbow doesn't move. Let's keep working through those. You know, keep them tucked in. You can see I'm putting a little pause right there and dropping it back. Now the trick with this one is make sure your elbow doesn't drop as you start to tire. So you want to keep it glued to your ribs and you want to keep it there maintained. I'm going to get three more reps and I'm going to change sides. One last one. And I want you to switch it up. Let's go to the other side now. Okay, guys, I've switched over to the other side. Let's go. So again, you can see the same range of motion. So nothing from the shoulder to the elbow. It's staying glued to my ribs and it's staying nice and stationary. And all the movements coming from the hand all the way to the elbow, 
really tensing up the triceps right here, pausing and dropping it back. That's my relaxed position there. Let's keep going. So I'm gonna exhale, hold, and come back. Just like that. Got three more reps. One, two, and three. Have a rest. Okay, let's get into those single arm rows, guys. Go. Excellent. So you guys can see vertical movement straight up and down. Now, what we're going to do here, I'm going to make sure you tuck that right in. There you go. Perfect. So we're getting more out of the lats that way. Perfect. Now, you want to make sure with this exercise, you don't want to bring it up to your chest because you really fold your elbow over and you end up putting some pressure on your elbow. What, what you're better off doing is actually just bring it below your chest, a little bit closer to your waistline, round about your serratus. Excellent. You guys can see nice steady range of movement. Um, she's got a nice sturdy stance, so she's well protected while she's doing this exercise. Get you to give me one more, Christina. We're going to change over. We're going to work the other side as well. Excellent. Let's change them up. And go from there. Maintaining a steady speed and finishing at a soft, straight arm is really necessary for this one because if you throw it out, you're going to hard straighten your elbows and you're going to put some pressure there, so we're going to try and avoid that. Just focusing on keeping those elbows tucked in, pulling straight up, that's perfect. We've got one more after this one, and let's have a rest. Lateral raise for the next exercise, guys. Watch me. So from here, I'm going to press my uh, dumbbell together like this. I'm going to work a lateral movement straight up, just past my T, and straight back down. Now, if you prefer to start by your side out here, that's okay as well. So we can lift straight from here, lateral movement, straight back down. Your turn. Okay, guys, let's get into those delt raises. Go. So you guys can see Christina's arms are soft straight throughout the whole movement. She's coming up to that perfect T. You can go slightly over, 5% over if you wanted to as well. There you go. That's just going to test you out a little bit more without putting additional pressure on your shoulders. Perfect. Let's keep working. And it's nice lateral movement, so it's just dropping to her sides. Um, so where you can go wrong with this exercise is you can start to bend or straighten your arms throughout the movement. We want to make sure we're not doing that. The other thing I want you guys to focus on, you can see Christina's feet are together, knees are slightly bent, and it's helping protect her back. So we want to make sure we're doing that. We've got a nice neutral spine, nice and tight, and working from there. Perfect. We've got one more repetition left. And time. Okay guys, we're going to work some alternate bicep curls with this one. I want you to watch me. So from here, I'm starting in a hammer position. So palms in side by side, just like that. I'm going to twist up into a bicep curl and I'm going to drop back down. Now I want to make sure there's no movement in my elbows. Okay, so there's no rowing action. I want to make sure um, all the movement is from the elbow to the hand. Just like that. Just really trying to isolate those biceps. Your turn. Okay guys, let's start those bicep curls, go. So nice steady movement, you can see Christina's setting a uh, relatively steady pace and she's maintaining it. Now she's dropping the negative the way down nice and slow 
and twisting. So we're twisting right up, we're getting that really good twist at the top, which is going to really focus on the peak of the biceps. Perfect. You can see no movement in her elbows, that's spot on. So exhaling, pushing up, inhaling as you're dropping them down. Fantastic form. Let's keep going. Now, I want you guys to also be conscious of your knees and your back as well. Keeping the back nice and neutral, nice and tight, and the knees are slightly bent just so that you're looking after your spine. One last repetition. And you're done. Supported overhead tricep extensions for this one, guys. So watch. So I'm going to place my hand just inside of my bicep there. I'm going to pull it right up so it's supporting my um, arm. And we're going to push straight up from here. Just trying to really keep that elbow nice and still. And you can see I'm pushing in a hammer position. Okay, just like that. There's no twist of the wrist at all. Your turn. Okay, let's get started with those triceps, guys. Go. So a couple of things I want you guys to watch out for. So your elbow is pointing forward. There you go, like that. Perfect. So you want to make sure you're not twisting it out. You want to keep it right in front of you. And this arm is just there to support the other one. Good. Soft straight, hitting 90 degrees range on there and going straight back up. Now the trick here is make sure there's no movement in the elbow either. We're just trying to keep it as straight as we can keep it. Keep going. We've got about 15 seconds left on this one, Christina. And then what we'll do is we'll change over and we'll do the other arm as well. Let's keep working. Good. We've got two more reps. One more. Let's try and keep that elbow nice and still. Keep it in place. And change over now. And lift on the other side and let's go. Excellent. And you guys can hear Christina exhaling as she's pushing up and she's inhaling through her nose as she's dropping back down. I want you guys to do the same thing. Good. The support arm does an important job in this particular exercise. The support arm is making sure you don't hyperextend when you get tired and you're not going to do any damage to your shoulder. So it's just keeping your arm in place. Let's keep working. Good. As you start to tire, uh, you're going to start to, your stabilizers are going to start to play up a little bit. So we just want to make sure, again, the support hand is helping um, to maintain control, maintain position. Let's go for two more reps. One last one. And have a rest. Okay, guys, get ready for action. We're going to repeat the last three exercises. Okay, guys, let's get into those delt raises. Go. So you guys can see Christina's arms are soft straight throughout the whole movement. She's coming up to that perfect T. You can go slightly over, 5% over if you wanted to as well. There you go. That's just going to test you out a little bit more without putting additional pressure on your shoulders. Perfect. Let's keep working. And it's nice lateral movement, so it's just dropping to her sides. Um, so where you can go wrong with this exercise is you can start to bend or straighten your arms throughout the movement. We want to make sure we're not doing that. The other thing I want you guys to focus on, you can see Christina's feet are together, knees are slightly bent, and it's helping protect her back. So we want to make sure we're doing that. We've got a nice neutral spine, nice and tight, and working from there. Perfect. We've got one more repetition left. And time. Okay, guys, let's start those bicep curls. Go. So nice steady movement. You can see Christina's setting a uh, relatively steady pace and she's maintaining it. Now she's dropping the negative, the weight down nice and slow and twisting. So we're twisting right up. We're getting that really good twist at the top, which is going to really focus on the peak of the biceps. Perfect. You can see no movement in her elbows, that's spot on. Good. 
So exhaling, pushing up, inhaling as you're dropping them down. Fantastic form. Let's keep going. Now, I want you guys to also be conscious of your knees and your back as well. Keeping the back nice and neutral, nice and tight, and the knees are slightly bent just so that you're looking after your spine. One last repetition. And you're done. Okay, let's get started with those triceps, guys. Go. So a couple of things I want you guys to watch out for. So your elbow is pointing forward. There you go, like that. Perfect. So you want to make sure you're not twisting it out. You want to keep it right in front of you. And this arm is just there to support the other one. Good. Soft straight, hitting 90 degrees range on there and going straight back up. Now the trick here is make sure there's no movement in the elbow either. We're just trying to keep it as straight as we can keep it. Let's keep going. Got about 15 seconds left on this one, Christina. And then what we'll do is we'll change over and we'll do the other arm as well. Let's keep working. Good, we've got two more reps. One more, let's try and keep that elbow nice and still. Keep it in place. And change over now. And lift on the other side and let's go. Excellent. And you guys can hear Christina exhaling as she's pushing up and she's inhaling through her nose as she's dropping back down. I want you guys to do the same thing. Good. The support arm does an important job in this particular exercise. The support arm is making sure you don't hyperextend when you get tired and you're not going to do any damage to your shoulder. So it's just keeping your arm in place. Let's keep working. Good. As you start to tire, uh, you're going to start to, your stabilizers are going to start to play up a little bit. So we just want to make sure, again, the support hand is helping uh, to maintain control, maintain position. Let's go for two more reps. One last one. And have a rest. Okay, guys, wide push-ups for this exercise. I want you to watch me. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure my hands are at shoulder width or even slightly wider. And I'm going to set myself up. I'm going to drop down, get my chest to my dumbbell and lift straight back up. One more time. You can see I'm holding a nice straight plank so there's no snake motion. Your turn to try it. All right, Ben, let's get into it. Okay, so you guys can see nice straight body from the shoulder to the ankle. You want to make sure you're holding that hard plank in place and you're keeping your abs active. You can see the elbows are dropping right out, so we're making a perfect T over here. And we're trying to keep our wrists nice and straight, so you want to try not to snap your wrist back. You want to try and keep it as straight as you can. Okay, we're doing really well. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one. Let's keep going. Now, if you struggle with this exercise and you need to drop to your knees and, and do it from your knees, that's okay, but let's try and start in this position. We've got three more reps, Ben. One, two, and one last one. Perfect. We're done. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a 10-second break and we're going to repeat that last exercise. All right, Ben, let's get into it. Okay, so you guys can see nice straight body from the shoulder to the ankle. You want to make sure you're holding that hard plank in place and you're keeping your abs active. You can see the elbows are dropping right out, so we're making a perfect T over here. And we're trying to keep our wrists nice and straight, so you want to try not to snap your wrist back. You want to try and keep it as straight as you can. Okay, we're doing really well. We've got about 20 seconds left on this one. Let's keep going. Now, if you struggle with this exercise and you need to drop to your knees and, and do it from your knees, that's okay, but let's try and start in this position. We've got three more reps, Ben. One, two, and one last one. Perfect, we're done.
Well done guys, you got through today's workout. Now if you can turn your attention to your in-house instructor, he'll give you three minutes of stretching. Okay, you're finished for this class guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could assist us by wiping down your equipment ready for next class, we'd really appreciate that. Thank you. You guys are welcome to join us at Ultimate Pilates or check us out online via YouTube. See you soon.